What's going on you awesome creatives? In today's video, we're jumping into SketchUp, taking a look around and teaching you guys how to use groups effectively. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so I've got SketchUp open up here and like we kind of went through last time, um, most of your components in SketchUp are built through endpoints, edges and faces and manipulating these. So, and I also quickly went through this selection tool. Obviously you've got the solid line and that'll select everything within that. Um, and then dotted line will select, you know, whatever. So we went through this in the previous um, episode. If you guys want to jump back over there and check out your selection tools and the very, very basics of getting started. Um, I think it's about a five minute video, so jump over to that. But anyway, let's, um, I'm just going to speed this up really, really quickly, get us started. So let's have a quick look here. Okay, so I've got a rectangle here. Now last time we kind of just extruded this up and that was kind of the basis of it. And I think we played with a bit of the movement tools. In today's kind of lesson, I want to show you guys um, the concept of stickiness and then why groups are really, really important. All right, so what is stickiness, right? SketchUp kind of uses stickiness as a way to combine different shapes. So if we draw a rectangle here, and then we draw another rectangle here. If I grab this face, right, you can kind of see that they stick together and as I move them, right, it's moving whatever's connected to it. All right, so this is really, really good because obviously I can kind of grab this kind of shape, delete out of it, and now we've got two shapes, all right, and different things like that. And I can obviously combine circles and arcs and rectangles and whatever else. All right, so stickiness is a good thing. However, it does have limitations and that's kind of where groups come in. Right, so I'm going to show you guys this exact same thing, but I'm going to throw it in a group, right? So let's grab our rectangle tool again, and let's draw out a rectangle, right? Nice and simple there. And I am going to double click on this, um, actually double click, triple click to select all of it, right click, and I'm going to click this make group, right? So that's now in its own group. Now to go into that, I have to double click, and you'll notice it comes in with these dotted lines. Um, almost like your marching ants, and that will allow us then to select things within this group. To get back out of that, we just click off like I've just done. Right, let's grab our other rectangle, right, and throw in another rectangle, just like we did over here. And again, we're going to double click on that, right click, and then go make group, right. Now again, just to just to illustrate this a little bit more, if I grab my move tool by hitting M, right, you see the stickiness we just went over. Right, with our groups, right, we can now grab this, and you'll see that it's kind of moving it completely separately, right? So groups are a fantastic, fantastic way of kind of keeping elements separate so that stickiness doesn't get applied. That means that kind of over here on our stickiness, we can kind of exclude these up, right? Kind of like that. Or with our groups, we can just double click in and exclude, um, extrude them back up. All right, jump into this other one. Let's extrude that up as well. And you'll notice even with extruding them, we can then just grab them and move them out of the way. Alright, so groups are fantastic for that. Um, and I usually kind of model things up and group it as I go along. Alright, another quick, quick step here, guys, is components. Alright, so components are another kind of forming of groups. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle and just show you guys how these work. So let's grab our rectangle again really quickly here. All right, move this out, and I'm going to extrude this up, and then I'm going to right click, uh, triple click everything, right? Double click just, or single click uh, selects the face. Uh, double click then selects everything um, within that. So then we've got the face and the edges, all right? And then a triple click will select everything that's in, in contact with that face, all right? So that's the difference between a double click and a triple click. Now I can right click on that and I can make a component, right? Comes up, we can name this and I'm just going to call it rectangle one. All right, and I'm not going to really worry about this too much more, right? You can obviously alignment and component accesses, but I just want to show you guys the general gist of creating components, right? So I've just created a component there. Now I'm going to copy this over, right? Then it's hold down alt. Yep, hold down alt in SketchUp and move it over, and again I'm snapping on that red axis and I can place it. Right now that's a component, so what that means is I can now double click in this, and you'll notice it's come up just like a group, and what I can do is I can select and move this, and you'll notice it's now moving both of those and all of those components. So this is really, really great for creating walls or doors, uh, not walls, sorry, doors or windows, where every single door and every single window will be exactly the same, and that way if we make one change to a single door, 
it will affect every single door. Same with windows. If we make one simple change to a window, it will select or it will change every single window we have in our project. So components are really, really good for that. And again, obviously we're just manipulating the original. If we actually jump into the duplicate, all right, it's again manipulating both the original and the duplicate or however many duplicates we can have. And you'll also notice there that it's actually kind of highlighting both this face and the same face on the original, just to show you guys the kind of um, manipulations you're doing. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap up today's tutorial on components and groups in SketchUp. If you guys found this helpful, consider subscribing down below. Until next time guys, have an awesome week and stay curious and keep creating.